All right, in the last video, we talked about all the different brush options and how you can use those to enhance your alphas. And now we're gonna talk about all the different types of symmetry available inside of 3D Coat. So to activate symmetry, what you need to do is you need to hit the S key on your keyboard, or, whoops, this will bring up the symmetry window, or you can go up to symmetry, symmetry. And this is the symmetry pop-up. So as you see, symmetry is not enabled right now. And even if I hit enable symmetry, still nothing is going to change because I haven't told it which axis I want to mirror across. So I'll pick the x-axis and you'll see this little red plane shows up. If it doesn't show up, make sure that show symmetry plane is turned on. And now when I sculpt, it will be mirrored across that axis. I could also mirror across the Y axis or the Z axis. And as I just demonstrated, you can mirror across multiple axes at once. Oops, undo it a little bit too far. So if I turned all three of these on, then you can see that we get all of those degrees of symmetry. Now there's more than just mirroring. Let me turn all those off. If I go to the symmetry type, I can also turn on radial symmetry. And what this will do is it will, instead of mirroring your strokes, it will duplicate them in a radial fashion around a certain axis. So as you see, if I have eight degrees here. It's going around the Y axis. And as I draw, you'll see that I have that stroke radiating around. You can have quite a few degrees of these. I can go up to, I believe 32 might be the maximum. And now when I try to brush, my computer is slowing down quite a bit because it's trying to duplicate that stroke in 32 places at once. So let me kick that back down to eight. And I can choose different. Now with this one, you can only do one axis at a time. So if I were to pick the X axis, and see there's no option to have multiple axes active at once. Or I could do the Z axis. Or I could also set custom axis points. You see, I could pick and I could start it right there and it will radiate around this point. Now that might not be the most useful depending on your model, but it may be something you need. So let me just align that to the X axis. Now there's another type of symmetry called radial mirror. Let me bring this back around the Y axis. There we go, just wanted to clean up the brush strokes I had done earlier. Now the way this works is that your strokes will radiate around an axis, but every other instance of it will be mirrored. So watch. So as you see, we have basically four quadrants, but each quadrant when split in half is a mirrored version of itself. So if I turn this up to say 16, and this starts to get very confusing with the symmetry plane active, but make that a little bit more obvious. But you see you can get some very interesting patterns very easily using this type of symmetry. You can also even add in an extra mirror, which will then mirror it across the axis you have selected. So let me bring this back down to eight. And you see that it's also being mirrored across the axis. It's not perfect because I have step symmetry turned on. Let me turn that off. So you see now it is perfectly mirrored both 
around the y-axis and across the y-axis. Now that step symmetry I had turned on basically offsets some, the uh, extra mirror. So as you see, they're not perfectly lined up. So that can be used to get certain effects. And if you so choose, that's just step symmetry. I usually work with it off unless I happen to really need it for something. But those are all the important symmetry options. Now most of the time you will only be working with XYZ mirrors, but for certain objects, especially uh, rounder objects, like if you're working on, a, on an engine turbine or a staff or something of that nature, radial symmetry is very useful to have. All right, so now we've discussed the brush options, the symmetry, and even the different stroke modes. So now we are ready in the next video to move on to the other voxel tools. In the next video, we'll be specifically talking about the adjustment tools.